Some construction projects boom during the spring, but when it comes to choosing a contractor, how do you know you're getting a legitimate one? Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan. A statewide undercover sting found nearly 100 contractors operating without a license, including 10 here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks has that story tonight. With the contractor state license board, this is a sting operation. The contractor state license board says these stings happen every year in an attempt to be proactive on consumer safety. This year, they heard several complaints from the Bakersfield area. So, working with the district attorney and sheriff's office, they asked suspected unlicensed contractors to quote them on work above four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. You kept under the four hundred and ninety-nine dollars, mm -hmm. then you would be okay. That's the maximum you're allowed to work without a license. Ten people in Kern County were caught without one. There's lots of work out there, and there's really no reason for these guys not to get a contractor's license. Ten men were arrested on misdemeanor charges and are facing up to six months in jail and up to a $5,000 fine. Do you have a contractor's license number? No, no es con esa... A city business license. We called several pool contractors today. Many of them said they started their business without a license in an attempt to put food on the table. Well, you can put food on the table legally or illegally. You know, you can do that with anything in life. Jim owns Top Dog Pool Supply and actually got his license 25 years ago to the day. I want it to be legal. And I didn't want to have to worry about anything, be looking over my shoulder. One of the reasons the license is in place is to stop contractors from walking away with money up front. What would you need to get started? Yeah, they, they... Oh, half and okay. Now, if you're looking to hire a contractor, first make sure it's a licensed contractor. They'll always put their licensing number in any advertisement, which you can then check instantly online at csob.ca.gov. Second, ask to see their license and photo ID to verify their identity. And finally, never pay cash for a job and don't let the payments get ahead of the work. Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC.